Michael here at drawingteachers.com. Let's do a heart with a banner. We'll start with two circles and a point, and then bring a curve around to that point. You can actually start even with a triangle to help you get these curves right, and then get the curve on the other side to match that. Just keep working that until it feels right. around to a point there. Put your basic heart shape and uh, I'm going to erase out some of the middle part of that. I've got a, a kneaded eraser here. Pretty much any eraser you have will work. All right, I need to sharpen my pencil a little bit. I've got a little metal pencil sharpener. Just uh, I'm using an, an ebony graphite pencil. So now I have that basic heart shape. Now what I want you to do is draw a pair of lines across your heart at an angle perhaps and uh, turn that into basically a, a rectangle like that. And what's going to happen is that banner is going to curl around back behind the heart here. So this bottom part we're going to have to turn that and here it's going to, we'll have it go the other way, we'll have it curl back like this around that top part and then we're going to figure out where that curls again, so we'll curl it one more time and just make these these waving rolls here like that. Now it's going to have roughly the same thickness here and then we're going to just taper taper the ends of it like that. So here it's going to go back behind but then we're going to have it curl around again and around again and also kick out up here. So this becomes like a, a, a wavy, that's like an S with another wavy part on it right there. And again, it's not going to be quite as thick because we're, we're showing it in some depth, but we're going to have basically a rectangle back there and then we're going to kick off a couple of pieces like that for a split in it. All right. So that part is behind the heart. I'm going to erase that. And I'm smearing this with my dirty knuckles, so be careful about that. And we're going to erase the part of the heart that's covered by the banner. Okay? We do a little better job with that erasing there, don't we? I'm going to clean up the shape of my heart some here, bring that to a nice point, and work on the curve here. Make that nice and round. Make that nice and round. It was a little flat on top before. And then work put this banner across there. Now what you what you put on this that's up to you, but uh, we could do I love you. We could do uh, how about be mine. So we'll uh, we'll draw some letters on here. B and we'll do M I N E. There we go and. Let's uh, jazz this up. We'll add some small wings to it. First, bring up a little piece for the for the where the wing attaches, and then we'll swoop that out. Like that, and build the, the main body of our wing there. That's sort of the, uh, if this was a chicken, that would be the chicken's wing. <laughs> so 
not a chicken though, it's a heart, and then extend some lines out from this to help you know where to put your feathers. So I'm going to use that as a guide. And then inside here, I'm just going to do some softer, some softer bumps in there for the feathers, and then do another layer right in here. Now we're not working here to get perfect wings. I'm gonna let those tips round off a little bit too when I ink them in. All right, and let's see too to finish this off let's have this also be a flaming heart so it's a flaming heart with banners and wings and the um, the energy of the heart is going to it's going to start down here and it's going to to flame up no, I don't like that forget that let's figure out what the basic overall shape of our of our flame is going to be. Um, we're going to have it sort of match the heart and come around and it's going to come out from the bottom and I'm uh, just going, going by feel here. So now what I want to do is I want to figure out where the energy of the flames is going so I don't just do a random thing. I'm going to draw some guidelines here. I'm going to use that to help me with my tips and curves. I'm just drawing some spikes. And these you kind of hook that around like that and then and then come back around and back up like that and come off of that for these flames and you, you kind of vary the things you do but it's basically a repetition of this same pattern and uh, down here I think I'd like it to uh, like some of that energy to come out from the backs of the banner, so we're going to do that. And here the energy is going to start to turn, so I need to, to work this a little differently. Let's see, like that. This make a bigger curve there. Maybe a single flame that goes out that side, and then kicking around like that. And then maybe that goes there. So there we have a heart with banner with wings and flames and we need to uh, last but not least add an arrow so this is like the mega heart so we're going to add an arrow that goes right through here it's got a great looking tip on it and for this arrow shaft I'm going to use a ruler going to come out behind the heart and up here for the flight on this arrow let's kick off a couple lines like that and kick that in like that all right a heart with banner wings flames and arrow Oh, I've gotten so big that I have to back away from it. All right, time to go ahead and color this in. See, I'm going to take a marker, just a regular Sharpie, and uh, draw this in.
so first of all on the banner let's get that since it's out front we'll draw that curve and for this long pull here I'm going to make sure that I'm going to turn my paper and I'm uh, standing off to the side here and pull that towards my body there we go and we'll do that again over here we'll call this the ultimate heart design and I'm going to bring that around right there and back around and back around the ultimate mega heart design the ultimate heart design and uh, bring that around and give that a little thickness right there and there and there and it's going to fill that in right there and now bring that around and connect that up. Okay. And back, back around here. So I guess if you want to express your love for somebody, what better way to do it than with the ultimate mega heart design? Alright, get the tip of that arrow, come around and do the edge of the heart right there. Okay, tough curve here. I want to get this right. I'm going to turn the paper and I'm going to follow that slowly and step it in a little couple pieces. I'm being very careful here. Try to get that curve. Made a little error, but not so bad that we have to start over. So, I'll tell you, the inking always makes me a little nervous because I don't want to mess it up. Okay, so now for the B mine, we're going to do that in sort of a graffiti style letter here. And uh, let's see for this. I'm going to do a letter like that. So I'm changing, changing the style a little bit on that to more of a graffiti style. And And we've got another E here. I want to make that similar to that one. Alright, let's work on the thickness on these a little bit. Alright, so that's our that's our message right there. Of course your message can be whatever you need it to be on that. Um, let's go ahead and get this arrow in. I'm going to use my ruler for this. I want that nice and straight and then I'm going to make sure that lines up see I want that coming out the back of the heart or the side of the heart so I'm going to close that right there and then we'll pull this down to here line up up here pull that down to there and then we'll go ahead and complete this arrowhead All right, there we go. Now for the wings, pull this curve towards me, and so we're gonna kind of make those. I'm gonna make those real pointy. We're gonna kind of round them out, make this a, a little bit gentler there than. What we might have had originally, and this is this is the main part of the wing here, where sort of the uh, the muscle of the wing is, and then we're going to create some feather shapes in there. And uh, I had some guides in there, and what you can do is you can, if you want, you can put some lines in there 
the center of those era for the center of those feathers if you wish maybe even another little row right in there okay now over here it's going to let's see I didn't finish this arrow flight let's go ahead and set the front curves of that do the edges of that finish the end of the shaft and kick that flight in like that all right now I've uh, got the wing on the other side and just so get the get the muscle of the wing in there right to the tip and now as we did before we're going to round this out a little bit and it starts to drop back behind the banner so we have to be careful there not to cut over the banner just go over our layers here and throw in a little center piece for the feathers alright and now the flames this marker is a little thick for these tips, so I'm just trying to be careful to not crush the tips on those flames too much. Leave a little opening there for us to color. But basically just following my lines. It helps on those tips if you actually are pulling towards the tip. And let's see, that's kicking behind the arrow there. Okay, wow, now we're going to figure out how to color that. So uh, I'll probably do a little more line work on it first, but uh, after I clean up and do some erasing. Okay, I found a small sharpie, a small tip sharpie, and we're going to start to detail this out with this small sharpie. So uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to come back in to the parts of this banner here that we're going to have be uh, shaded. And I'm going to start drawing some lines in here. And I'm going to space them progressively further apart. And then as they get into this area, bring them tighter together. And I can even go back over some of that adding some in the middle okay and same thing in here space them very tightly and then further apart and then they hit this turn tight more tightly okay now down in here same thing very tight a little wider a little wider a little wider you get pretty wide here and then as we hit this curve we tighten them up same thing in here, tight, and then a little wider and tight again. Okay, in here, this part is sort of the front side of it. I'm not going to start so tight. I'm just going to hit a couple in there to shade it. Maybe, maybe an extra one on each side there. Okay. Now, where this heart crosses over, the, uh, I'm sorry, where the banner crosses over the heart, it's going to drop 
a shadow. So I'm going to put that line in there where that shadow will drop. And I'm going to draw some lines down from here to be the shadow of the banner crossing over the heart. And uh, I'm going to double up on some of that. So just put some extra lines in there. All right. Now the main banner will also get some shading right here on the edge, but I'm not going to make it as dense as I did back on the back part, and we're not going to fill in across the front. So a line here, another one close, a little wider, a little wider, and like that. Okay, now the heart going to add a little, uh, little highlight effect right there and also right here we're going to bring in a line and make this a highlight effect there and same thing here A little bit of detail right there. Okay, like that. Maybe a little, little spot right there. Um, let's talk about the arrow shaft now. Uh, what I want to do is I want to shade the lower side of that. So let's find the center of the shaft and then just put another line underneath that. And here, just one line. One line is going to do it right there. Oh. All right, back out from that. Okay, so what I did is I just drew a couple lines more down towards the, the lower part of the shaft and drew a line in that. So here on the arrow flight, these are uh, these are feather kind of shapes. So we're made of feather, so we're just going to rib them with feather ribbing. Okay, and we're going to put a little bit of shading with a line right under here. Another line, that's just a little bit of shading from that arrow shaft. Like that. Now this arrow shaft is laying over the heart here. It's cut into the heart. So I want to draw a little bit of a, a detail right around there to help us feel that it's penetrated the heart and then it's going to have a little bit of shadow on the heart and it's at an angle so that shadow will be something like this so we'll make that first piece longer and we'll just shorten it up as we go right there like that all right now the wings or the back of the banner let's see I've got the back part of the banner let's come in here to the back part of the banner and let's shade that fairly tightly back in there. Just drawing lines vertically. And as we get further out, we just sort of let those taper off. And same thing down in here, very tight right here. Where it's almost black. And then let those taper off. Okay, down here on the arrowhead. I'm going to put a line right down the center. Actually, put a series of lines, and I'm going to let this lower side be shaded by cross hatching it in two directions. And then this top part, I'm just going to hit a little bit as if it has a beveled edge. So hit that right down here. Just give that dimension. Okay, now I need to work in on the wings here. Um, we're going to put a little bit of a little bit of shading right around the edge of the heart, just to just 
to show us that it's out in front, so we'll just draw some little lines outward. And now I'm going to just just hatch some little lines at the underside of these curves. See right under here, right here, and so just just giving that some form, shaping that a little bit. Okay, um, I think we can continue that with our feathers. We just want to shape the underside of those. We're going to get a little shadow from under this row of feathers. A little shadow from under there, this row of feathers. So we just draw some short little lines. Something like that. A little bit of something under there. A little bit of something under there. And I think it's time to, to finish those up. Let's see. All right. Now the flames. Kind of tricky here. I want uh, I want the flame to really pop. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go in and add a little detail. You know, almost a highlight to them. Um, uh, or inner an inner. Uh, not an out, inner outline, but uh, basically what I am doing is following this with an inner curve. So that if we go to color this, we've got some things to play with as far as uh, sort of a little highlighter accent on that. I don't always know what to call these things, so if I'm using words that just don't seem to make sense, so sorry about that. I experience is more visual for me than it is verbal, so I'm going to mark we're doing some weird things because of the way that I am turning the marker, so let me turn the paper, or maybe it's, it's catching on some of that graphite. But uh, we're just going to let that be part of the effect. Alright, so now I feel like we need something to separate the heart from the flame. So uh, I'm going to draw lines coming out from the heart that, that head in the direction of the flames. And shading is really not the right word. I just I just do want something here separating it, and I'm going to come in here and hit something right in the middle of these. So almost like these are little flames coming right off the heart, that flame energy of the passionate love that this heart portrays. And here as well, we look at the direction, the direction of our flames, and just... Uh, we can shorten those up where they're short and make them longer. Where the flames are poking out, make them longer. And then come back in and do some in between there. I'm making these middle ones a little shorter. Okay, um, I think that our B mine would benefit from a little bit of a very light outline there, a very thin outline.
All right, very cool. And uh, let's give that a little bit of a drop shadow so that can pop off. And because it's a very thin pen, we're giving it the tiniest of drop shadows. It's drawing an extra line right below there, just making that stand out a little more in three dimensions, as if it's floating above the banner. All right. I think this is ready for some coloring. So we'll start with the background and uh, we'll kick in some yellow on the flames. See, I've got a colored pencil around here somewhere that's yellow. Found an orange. Here's a yellow. So I want to get these nice and sharp. So obviously this makes a good Valentine's heart, but uh, you can put whatever message you want on there. And uh, you can use it any time of the year. All right, so basically just going to color this uh, it's in yellow here. Putting a base colored pencil coat on it. Not coloring very hard. I just uh, just want to get it started here. and figuring out where my flames are coming out from behind this banner. Alright, almost done with the flames, uh, at least for the first coat, I need the yellow, and we'll come back in with some orange. Alright, so now I'm going to come out from this heart, and I'm mostly moving, moving from the heart edge, away from the heart, towards the tips of the uh, flames, because I want so I'm pushing away, see like that. I'm not pushing in, I'm moving away so that I kind of keep working with this theme I've got going of these little lines here. And occasionally I can start hitting that a little harder by going back over it. I recommend you just work it in stages. You know, hit a little bit of color first and then come back over it. Hit a little harder. Same thing down here. The action is all marking away from the heart, towards the tips of the flames. And that gives us that energy of uh, light emanating from the heart, the fire coming from the heart. And we're just going to put a little, a little out here, around the edge of that banner. And we're making it a little darker under the banner there. We're going to make that banner pop from the background. So contrast will be, I'm going a little side to side here right at the edge of the heart because I want to intensify that color there. And 
and I want to especially intensify it right around the edges of these shapes. All right. And let's see, we need to get right in here some. So I'm going to go on the wings with a sort of a lavender color because orange and, uh, and purple and red, they all go well together. And, and I'm mostly going to shade on the bottom. I'm going to leave some white on these wings. I'll shade those areas that we've already shaded. Let's see if we get right in there into those, into those spaces between the layers of the wings. Of shading under each row of feathers and then hitting the hitting the lower side of these and we will do some right around the edge of this banner so that that banner pops off from the from the wings because the wings are coming around from the back of the heart we do want to show we do want to show some shading right in here same thing in here we definitely want to shade that right in there between the heart and the banner and get that wing nice and dark in there and then as we work away from the heart let it get lighter but except to get along the edge don't be afraid to to give it some good contrast that gives us some depth all right so i think that we can put a little bit of light blue in there but not too much Let's see i've got this blue and we're just going to put a little bit of blue uh, in in the world when we see white if we see it outside it it's, it's sometimes picking up some of the blue from the sky we're picking up some blue on it um, I sometimes actually look at white and it looks yellow but it depends on the lighting if, if we're presuming though that we're getting the lighting from outside then you're going to get some blue sky bouncing off of that so a little bit of white a little bit of blue on the white and it ironically helps it look more white and it's the same thing with like if you're doing chrome letters we usually like the experience of chrome seeing chrome is usually outside like on cars and things and, and so it's the reflection that makes chrome look like chrome and that reflection is very often the sky. All right, let's start the heart now. So I'm starting not with a red, it's more of a, uh, a pinkish kind of red and and I want that pink kind of red color so that it goes well with the purple that's in the wings. And uh, using as a guide this area that we've already shaded a bit, I'm going to just start going darker under the banner and let that be more intense. And then I'm going to be more intense on the sides, sort of fading towards the middle where it'll be lighter. And I've got that little highlight reflection effect there. I'll leave that. All right. And Hitting that pretty hard down there, working my way towards the middle. Pretty dark right underneath that. Okay. Now I'm going to come right along the top of the banner and make sure I define that, but softly. And then come around and start getting the edges, leaving my, my highlight shapes white. And here it's important not to move too quickly with all this because we want to give a, a, uh, a soft roundness to this and you do that with shading so we want to let part of this be fairly light it's 
especially in the area of that highlight, be pretty light there. And then get darker towards the edges of the heart. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna make it darker over here. Kind of depending on whether what you're seeing is a reflection or a highlight. That uh, that right there would be more of a reflection because it's sort of more on the let's say the darker side of the shading. So it's a little darker over here, a little darker right here, a little lighter as we get towards, towards that highlighted area. Darker right in there, definitely darker underneath the arrow here where it's shadowed. That'd be like a reflection right there. There's there's shading and then there's there's highlighting and there's reflection. Those are all separate things. So highlights are usually about where the light's coming from, where it's hitting it. But uh, just adding little highlights, uh, shapes, you know, helps us uh, imagine there's there's a light bouncing off of there. Reflections could be something else in the world around it. Keep going over this till it gets as dark as I want it, and now I think I can put a little bit of that red, just a little bit back in the back here, just a little bit right there, just a little bit right there. Again, uh, adding contrast underneath the banner. All right, how about the? Um, the banner itself. Um, right now we've got purple and red and we've got some fiery colors going in here. We probably don't want to pop something like green or something against there. That would be that would be too much. Um, I think it needs to be really light. Um, we don't want to make it too dark to have the lettering disappear. So let me look around here and see what I've got. Um, you know, maybe just a very soft pink um, would work. Uh, just kind of have some of the color from other things bounce off onto it. Like some of this, let's say some of this red, we're bouncing onto there. And uh, some of that red, we're bouncing onto there. And that's uh, picking up a little red in here, a little red in here. So it's like picking up the colors around it. And it's picking up a little. And let's see over here. Over here, it's picking up a little, little lavender. So we're just use the colors that we have around. I'm definitely picking up a little bit of that here. We use that, that lavender to shade in there. The darker areas. Picking up some of that, and then it's going to pick up some from the flames too. Let's see, over here, over here, it's going to pick up a little lavender top here, and then with the yellow, we'll, uh, we'll have to pick up some of that fiery yellow down here. Pick up some of the flame color. So we're not making this banner any one color, we're just, just picking up colors from the world around it. There, that part's picking up some of the flame, as is that part right there. And now we'll have it pick up a little bit of the orange right there, a little bit of the orange right there, pick up a little orange. Little orange back in the flame here, right at the edge. I'm going to intensify the, the color that we have between the banner and the flame.
All right, and then uh, I think we can finish it off with a uh, couple little accents of blue. So it's getting a little bit of everything in here and not being just one color. Just doing what white does, and that basically picks up colors around it. Um, this right here will have that pick up just a little bit of blue there on the heart. Alright, now we've got the arrow and arrow shaft. Um, I think in order not to complicate too, too, things too much, we'll just, we're just going to go with a gray on this. Not going to add too much color, introduce too many more colors into this design. Shade the bottom side of that. And let's see, a little bit of blue on the arrow flight here. And just a little bit of brown. A little bit of brown in this arrow shaft. All right, there you have the ultimate mega heart design, the heart with banner, arrow, wings, and flames. So I hope you enjoy that. I hope you have fun making your own. And uh, it'll be different, but probably great. So uh, if not, keep trying. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Please uh, subscribe to our channel to get more great videos. And uh, know when they come out. And please tell your friends, um, share with them what we're doing here at uh, drawingteachers.com and the How to Draw and Paint channel. Take care.